Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to write a blog post using Microsoft Copilot. In a previous video, I covered what Copilot is, and in another video, I showed you how to use Copilot. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Copilot to generate blog post content for your blog. So I've got Microsoft Edge browser open here, and I'm logged into my Microsoft account. In the top right corner, click on the Copilot button, and you'll see this sidebar. You can click this button to open Copilot in a new tab, and this is the Copilot homepage. Let me scroll down. Here you'll see three conversation styles. The default is set to balanced, and I'll leave it as is. This text box below is where you enter your AI prompt. So in this case, I'm going to paste my prompt. I'm going to ask Copilot to write a 700 word blog post to explain Microsoft Copilot, its main features and benefits, and how it compares to other AI products. So after I enter my prompt, I'll click the submit button, and Copilot will then respond based on my prompt, and accordingly generate a blog post, as you can see here. Now, depending on the prompt, it can take a few seconds up to a few minutes to generate the results. In this case, it took about 26 seconds. Down below, you may see some results for articles here. And you'll also see these other options that you can click to refine your prompt even further. I'll use this text box to enter a follow-up prompt and ask Copilot to add additional details regarding copyright implications and commercial use of AI-generated content. So again, after I enter my prompt, I'll click the Submit button, and then Copilot will again go back to work, and based on my follow-up prompt, it will then update the blog post and add the additional details that I requested, as you can see here. Once you're happy with the result, you can then use these buttons to copy to the clipboard and then paste it in another document. You can export it to a Word or PDF document or to Notepad. Or you can share it by email or social media using this pop-up dialog box. Let me close this dialog box. Or you can also use this button to read it out loud. If you want to add more content, you can continue by using these preset prompts, or use this text box below to write your own. For each topic, you have 30 follow-up prompts. As you can see here, I've used two of the 30 available. To start a new topic, you can just click this New Topic button, and it'll bring you to the Copilot homepage, and you can start over. You can check the blog post content that I generated using Copilot on my blog. You'll find the link in the description section. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.